And an agonizing wait for the families of several elementary school students stuck on a bus with a lost driver. That tops our news at 6 tonight. There's frustration and some concern this evening among parents with children who were in the Van Buren public school system bus. And with good reason, the afternoon bus their children were riding on missed its stop and apparently got lost. The bus stop is in Belleville, just off Haggerty between Huron River Drive and Savage Road. Guy Gordon joined us now, and Guy, they were shocked when they went searching themselves. Well, they sure were because uh, when the kids didn't show up after first 30, then 45 minutes, talking about five kids, four families, all the other kids on the bus got let off. Uh, they went searching for them, and one went to the transportation office, the district office, and asked what's going on. They said, well, we can't locate the bus, and we can't contact the driver. Another driver told them that could be because the driver's hearing impaired. The bus whizzed right past the stop. When five-year-old Terry and seven-year-old Ulyssa did not arrive 15 minutes later, Alyssa Jones called the district. Um, and they told me it's a new driver, he'll be back around. After a half hour, the four families split up and went looking. Katrina Moore went to the transportation office to find out where six-year-old Ryan might be. They're scrambling around. They cannot contact anybody. They didn't know what to do. But our minds are children in danger, especially if you can't contact the bus. It's too many things going on now with, you know, the way the world is. The administrator told me personally and the other parent, the driver is deaf. The administrator called police who put out an alert and found the lost bus within seven minutes. Kids traumatized, daughter urined. I mean, they didn't stop and let them use a bathroom or anything. So it's a major problem. District officials say the driver was on a new route, an honest mistake. But parents can't understand why he didn't call dispatch for help, why he didn't reassure parents. He's still on the route, now accompanied by an aide. But confidence for these parents and their children is gone. He just stood there and froze. And he's like, no, like, no, I'm not getting on that bus. And they feel like they've gotten the brush off from the district and have a lot of unanswered questions. We tried to get those uh, questions answered uh, through the superintendent's office and was given the shortest of statements that the children were never in any danger and that it was a new driver on an, I should say a driver on a new route. Uh, so no statement beyond that uh, and at this point that's all the parents are, are going to have to get and they're going to be taking their children to school by themselves until they get a more satisfactory answer to their questions. We're live. I'm Guy Gordon, Local 4. Back to you. Now, Guy, what do you think the parents would be satisfied with? I mean, he's getting assistance on his route. What more do you think they want? Discipline for the driver? You know what? They're adamant about that. They do want, don't want the driver disciplined. They don't want him fired. They would like him shifted to a different route so that their kids could have a new driver that they have more confidence in. They would also like to see GPS locators on all of the buses in the district mm -hmm. because apparently this one didn't have one. It was an older bus. They say till that's rectified, they're just going to keep on driving their kids themselves. <laughs> all right. Our guy Gordon reporting for us live.